Hi, thank you for joining me today and something I have to show you here you might be interested in making. Um, in a moment I'll show you the things that you will need to make this possible. But what it's designed to do, for those of you that have propane torches in your shop, you can take this propane torch and make this little caddy with skateboard wheels and some magnets on here and you can just stick it on there when you need it and when you have it there you can turn it on and you can go around with this and you can burn weeds out of cracks between your pavers in your masonry work um, this is not to be used by children it could be very dangerous you have to use it in a well ventilated area in case there's any fumes and you want to make sure when you're using it outdoors that the ground is damp already and that surrounding weeds can't catch on fire and that you have a fire extinguisher handy if you do use one of these. This is, a, I think, an easier way to get rid of weeds in certain areas where it's really tough to get down to their roots. You can just toast them with this. So if you're interested, follow along and I'll show you how you can make one of these for a relatively little bit of money. Thank you for watching. Okay, here are the supplies you're going to need to make this project. First of all, you've got to get your hands on some old skateboard trucks, used ones from a thrift shop, and just salvage one truck and the wheels that go with it. Then you're going to need some screws. You're going to need some rare earth magnets. And there's a setup that you can check right below this video. I'll put it down below the credits where you can buy this hook and magnet set up and these are relatively inexpensive. You'll need some wood, three quarter inch material, a two by four, a propane tank with a nozzle on it. You probably have that already. And you're going to need a jigsaw and a drill. With those things you can make this project. Here's a rough layout of my handle. I have it flat here on the bottom to mesh with the skateboard track long handle and I'm going to put a loop here at the end and I think this will work out well for me because I can grip it at any angle I want. This is half inch cabinet material um, and you can see it's scrap so I'm just using this half inch. It's final coated. So I'm going to cut this hole out here and I'll do that by putting a drill hole here on each side and there and I'll put another one over here. Pull my battery because I only have one extra battery. Put it in like this. Set it down. Put on some headphones. And then just While this is a solid piece of wood, I'll go ahead and use this trim router to round it off because that's where my hand's going to be held. Now I'll flip it over and do the other side. I just know some of you are going to say, boy, he's sure wasting lumber, but I did get this out of the trash. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to chop this corner off because I need clearance to get by this when I make this cut. My new bandsaw blade is 3 16 of an inch and it's too narrow and you can see I got a little bit of a wavy cut there. Now I'll take it to my belt sander and get rid of some of those bumps from my bandsaw cut. And while I have it, I'll just use my joiner to trim down that one edge and run it through until those little ripples are gone. Yeah, that's nice. 
Now a little bit of rounding with my router around the edges and when we're done with this, we're ready to go. And I find that if I drill a hole, it's 1564 that you can just force these in. You don't even have to glue them in and they fit really, really, really tight. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these three holes and put magnets in all of these. So I just take these magnets and I force them in the hole as best I can. That one went all the way down. Sometimes I have to use pliers to crunch them in, but this one held up really good. Let me check the next one. Go ahead and... Oh yeah, these are going in nice. And one more. And these are really, really strong magnets. I think they're rated for 25 pounds of holding. There we go. There you go. Looking good. So the method I made to attach the handle to the trucks is rather simple. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but I took a 2x4 and you can see I've traced it on this one to show you as an example. Take this 2x4 and cut it off wide enough to cover the bottom of the screw holes of this truck. And then I take a bandsaw and I trace out my half inch slot here and take the bandsaw and hold this vertically on the bandsaw and come down, out, down, out, across, and back out, and across and back out, and then just skin this out inside there. If you don't have a bandsaw, you could do this with a back saw, or very carefully even with a hacksaw going back and forth, getting the sides out first, and then try to angle out both ways like that. Um, after doing that, I took a piece of three-quarter inch material, and to spin this around, all I did is cut the end of this material off, just chop the end of it off, flip it up, and put two screws there, and that kind of keeps the bottle from every any way of passing forward. And then um, to assemble this, I just dropped a bunch of glue in the slot and put some, excuse me, put some screws on the side to lock that in, some screws here to hold this down to the 2x4, and then, then I put my magnets out here, and it allowed me to give, get a really nice, wow, that's tight, <laughs> lock in there. And it works real well. So you can see I can take this, and with two fingers it moves around very easily. I can go to a designated spot, and when I need to do some burn of some weeds in the cracks, all I have to do is take it over, line it up with the crack and dip it down and follow that weed along and do the burning. Lift it up and move to a new location. So it's as simple as that. Here's a little demo burn for you. It's pretty windy outside but you can see it can go right up to these weeds coming up between the cracks in the cement and just fry them. And I think it so much heat there that if there's any seeds of other types of weeds in the crack, it gets cooked too. So I really like the way it works.